Welcome or welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today's video is going to be a review of a new release, and that is Abort by C.D. Hewlin. Abort released on the 25th of this month, and I got an arc that I could have read early, but I was trying to finish up the Percy Jackson series, and so I didn't get to it until the day that it released. I started it on the 25th, and then I finished it today, which is the 27th. I know mine says that it releases on the 30th of last month, but that was an old date that it was supposed to release. Anyway, I guess that's enough of an introduction. Let's get right into what I thought about the plot of this book. I give the plot 5 out of 5 stars. It was amazing. I really, really loved it. From the very beginning, it was intriguing. It felt well-paced, and the flashbacks that are sprinkled throughout it never seem to interrupt the story in an awkward way. They were always placed very well and gave you just enough information to move the story along and to keep you guessing at what the full story is. And I do love flashbacks in books when they're done in a tasteful way, and I feel like this was done very well. So overall, I absolutely loved the story. There were so many questions to be answered, questions about characters past and what's going to happen, obviously, and it was very well crafted in my opinion. I really loved it. Then, of course, there's the allegory. It is a pro-life versus pro-choice story. It's heavily influenced by that debate, even down to some of the names of the characters, and it was done very, very well. It doesn't feel in-your-face and pushy, but you can definitely tell that that is what this book is about. It is about the debate of when life begins and whether abortion is morally right or not and why it is or isn't, and it was, it was just done so very well. Also, the way that C.D. Hewlin brought salvation into the story just felt very natural. It didn't feel pushy again, it didn't feel awkward, it felt natural. It fit the story because of certain characters, and it was explained very well. A wonderful salvation message, a wonderful gospel message in this book. Well done, <laughs> again. And like I said, it didn't feel awkward or pushy at all. It was just presented as characters' beliefs. I don't want to say too much and give things away, so I'm going to leave that there. But yes, I did think that the allegory was great and the salvation message was wonderful. And I really loved the ending too. Honestly, the perfect way to end this book and to make it even more powerful and impactful. So five out of five for the plot. I loved it. Moving into the characters. The cast for this book was very small, but I feel like the characters were very well-rounded and very well-developed, so I give the characters 5 out of 5 stars as well. I loved seeing things through Mason's eyes and getting to feel his internal struggle and his internal debate all the time. He was a wonderful character. Carter was a lot of fun too, and he really surprised me towards the end, but he was a really fun character as well. June for the small portion of the book that she was there. She was lovely as well, just a very sweet, wonderful character. So I really did love those three characters, and we definitely got to see, th see them the most. There were a few other characters as well. They didn't get as much time, so I don't really have much to say about them. They played their roles very well. That's about all that I'll say about them. But I did really love these three characters, and I honestly wish that I could see more of them, especially Mason and Carter. I would love to know more of their story and to see what happens after this and to see what had happened before even for certain ones and certain things about their life, their lives. Again, don't want to say too much and give anything away. I try to keep these spoiler free. But yes, they were amazing characters and they got incredible arcs as well, certain characters did. Moving into the writing, I give the writing four to five stars. While the plot was well crafted and there's a lot about the writing that was very good, it also managed to, I don't know if you'd say fail or succeed, but when it comes to my pet peeve, it definitely either failed or succeeded depending on how you're looking at that. And if you've watched my other videos, you should know what this pet peeve is. Yeah, that was a little bit tough <laughs> to ignore throughout the story and throughout the writing, but otherwise I think the writing was very good, and like I said, there was a lot that was great about it. I think C.D. Hewlin used it very well to craft the story. It keeps the story moving and it does keep it intriguing, 
but just that way of writing can also feel a little bit repetitive at times. But then I think there was also enough other variation in his writing that it didn't feel too repetitive. I just, that is a pet peeve of mine when the sentences start the same way for the most part. It's just a pet peeve. So <laughs> I definitely noticed that in this. But otherwise, I, I didn't really have a problem with the writing. I thought it was very good. The words that he chose to use were perfect. And, and yeah, there was just a lot that was very good. The description was pretty good. I'm not really one for description and there wasn't a ton of description, but I did sometimes have trouble following it just because I'm not familiar with space vessels at all. And I also don't really see things in my head. So description is kind of difficult for me, but I, I think that he did very well. So yes, I give the writing four to five stars, just knocking off a little bit for that pet peeve. Moving into the title tie-in. Abort was the perfect title for this book. Honestly, it's perfect. Not only is it referencing the pro-life, pro-abortion debate, but it is perfect for the story overall. And even if this story had nothing to do with that debate, this would still be the perfect title for this book, just following the storyline. It was absolutely perfect. I really loved it. So a really great title for it and a great title tie-in as well, just because of the overall theme of the book. Moving into the content guide. I really don't have a content guide for this one. There is nothing in this book that should be offensive to adults or young adults, even older children. It might not be a book for young children just, just because there is death in it and the character's human nature is clearly shown. Just some of their debates and struggles and again, I don't want to get give too much away so I don't want to say too much, but really there's nothing in it that should be offensive. It just might not be an enjoyable story for kids overall and kids that are too young, you'd then have to explain death and the other themes in this book. That's why I can't say it's for absolutely everybody because I, I don't think I can honestly say that. Um, I don't want to say that and then like, get in trouble. But it's also not a kid's book, so that's totally fine. It is for young adults and adults, and I think adults of all ages could enjoy it. I think young adults and teenagers could definitely enjoy it. There's nothing in it that should offend anyone. And that's what I have to say for the content guide. So let's move into my takeaway thoughts, the final part of this video. I highly recommend this book to anyone, especially if you love sci-fi, but it does contain a message that is important for anyone, I think. So I recommend it to anybody. It is a book that you could easily sit down and read in a matter of hours. I am a bit of a slow reader and I didn't start it on a day that I could just spend time and read. I had to work that day and the next day. So it took me a few days to get through it. But this morning I did sit down and read the last half of it and I didn't feel like I had to rush. I didn't feel like I would rather be doing something else and I was forcing myself to read. I thoroughly enjoyed reading this for several hours today. I really did enjoy it. It's an amazing read and I am very grateful to have won an arc, even if I didn't start it until the day that it actually released. So I'm sorry about that, C.D. Hewlin. I do wish that I could have read this book and give, given it a review before it released even. I just had other things planned and I didn't feel like splitting up a series. but. It was an amazing read and I'm very glad to have read it and to own it and to be able to share it now with other people. So definitely check it out. It's a great read. It's on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below and I'll leave a link to C.D. Hewlin's Instagram as well and definitely go check those out. Again, it's a great book. So that's my review of Abort. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. If you didn't, you can leave a dislike, but please let me know in the comments what you disliked about the video and how I can improve in future videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and sharing this video and others with your friends. Again, check out C.D. Hewlin's book and I guess that's it. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a blessed day, everyone. Mm -hmm.